Manchester. Some say the most important city on the planet, both culturally and musically. Why? It wasn't always like this. I can remember very precisely what Manchester was like in the mid-70s. It felt like a piece of history that had been spat out. And instantly, he was like, he couldn't do enough for me because I'd brought a TV personality yes. into his horrible little co-op ballroom in Russia. The thing about Tony was uh, he had a little spot. He'd convince the producers of the programme on Friday to let him have a spot where he has one live act on. One of the band, just before they went, went to Soundcheck, asked Tony if he'd skin up for them. And Tony, in later years, used to make a great deal about being able to do it one-handed while he was driving. Tony was somebody who would give people an opportunity, sign a band, give them full reign. Tony was probably more interested in the way he could create something than actually the creative process. The reason so many students and lovers of music descend upon this city is because of what one man did for Manchester throughout the course of his life. That man is Tony Wilson. Well, I think there's massive, for me, I, I don't live in Manchester anymore, obviously, but I think there's a massive, massive hole in Manchester since Tony died and several people have tried to fill it and they're not big enough to fill it.